This is Show Cup 77. This is $200 in the full out best of seven. So all seven maps will be played as you know it. No need to explain that anymore, is it? A new challenger for Happy who reclaimed the throne just recently and he starts super duper mega well with a lot of seven O's recently or four O's and then seven O's, whatever. Whatever competition he's in currently, he seems undefeatable from all these Asians. So will it be the same again? Or did Colorful improve on his micro macro creep routes, build orders, decision making and strategies? That's the question here, ladies and gentlemen. The recent results are not too hopeful, to be honest, but uh, at least Colorful got a map in TP League. So can he improve on that? Step by step, one by one, one map at a time. Let's go. We are starting things off on Concealed Hill, ladies and gentlemen, and Race DH, starting with the Racing DH. Thank you, ZB Forlight, for the 51 month resub. Woohoo! Love your casts! And Monero with the 4 month resub. That's a good start if I ever had one. Happy, obviously. With the DK, there's no changing that, but. He's once again going back to his Ted Fiend build. And this seems to be the new norm against a Demon Hunter. With a Ted Fiend build, you have very few targets, of course. That is a handful of fiends, one or two, maybe. And if you only have a handful of uh, targets, then immolation isn't this good. Thank you, Grills. With a tier two sub, my man. 49 months already, dude. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. We're starting this week with Happy vs. Colorful, then tomorrow the winner is facing Fly, but that is for later. Colorful at the moment, very inefficient, is not getting anything done. He got a handful of experience. Happy also, super old school undead with aura first. So yeah, not even Mana Burn can do anything to him. And with that, you counter the early game of Colorful quite a bit. Only right clicks and skeletons so far to work with. Colorful not greedily going into one art to tech or anything. No, no, he needs something to creep with. And happy? I guess he's quite okay with this early game as long as he stopped the Demon Hunter from early progress. That's just fine. This also requires some micro from Colorful's position, but the archers are split to the side, dealing with the skeletons. Just defend the DK against Happy. That's sometimes a mission impossible, but the archers are here. It's just more distraction. Don't lose an archer, but since there's no coil, there shouldn't be a steal, and there isn't. And now Colorful is one step away from level two. Not the worst start in the world for the challenger, is it? We got a Hunter's Hall coming up, so Colorful deciding to go into Archer Bears again. This is something we've seen recently quite a bit. And this is finally level 2, since there's still no chance to steal anything. And the items for Colorful are wonderful. Circlet and Slippers, more armor, more damage, more HP, more everything. But how... Oh, happy in for the steal. He got 68 XP already. Where did he get that? Oh, wow. He got that one too. Are you... Ah, he's creeping at the side. So we have to check. Nice deny. We gotta check how much he really got and from where. He got a sea turtle. He got two sea turtle. I think he stole one. So that's still fine. Level 2 prevented. Some shots fired at this DK. And we're at 50%. But it's nighttime. Concealed Hill has fountains. And so this shouldn't bother us. Is Colorful jumping on the Lawlight hype train is the question. Happy with more pressure. Adding a Naga now. Makes sense. Against the Demon Hunter, this is the best choice. And Colorful wants to go for a Naga himself to counter the Naga. The best thing against the Naga is a Naga, everybody. And now this should certainly force Happy back as there is no boots or anything. Can he get a Fiend? There's still no coil. 
but the DH is also very, very low. So colorful, rather the bird in the hand, right? And the two birds in a bush or whatever, whatever it is in English, going for the skeleton for a tiny bit of XP. But Happy pulls back and it's still nighttime. So all this damage will be negated in the meantime. Slaughterhouse tier three, all coming. As the Ancient of War is getting ready for more creeping, which both players certainly need to do. Double Ancient of Lore. What I was about to say, is it the Lawliant Talent Strat? Or is it just straight up bears? The tier three in comparison for Colorful is rather low. Happy by the way, sold the town portal. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. That's what I meant. Thank you guys for supporting me. Players forces are under attack. But since Happy is no level 2, there's quite an opportunity. He also has great firepower now. Love the scouting by this wisp. Might go down. Detonate though. But if Happy wanted to go for the rat spot, that is over. When of mana stealing. Fantastic later. But he has to survive this creep jack. Naga's coming in. Perfect movement as always. Naga needs to run. Would have loved to get some survivability. If he gets the DK, that's surely worth it. There is boots on the demon hunter. He's hunting the demon that is an Arthur's cosplay. But he just can't reach because of that pesky, pesky unholy aura to the mid game. Starts with the hero kill in favor of Happy. Thank you, sick boy, for the 18 month resub. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, indeed. Naga rule number two. If both have a Naga, one has to die. 100% will the demon hunter be forced into a town portal. Not really. Wakes up the creeps, maneuvers around it. And the rest of the camp is going down with dryads. I thought the day of Dryads are kinda over. Didn't everybody in the world go for Bears, Archers? Or Mass Dryads, of course, but with an expansion. This adds a layer of control, obviously. Interesting situation. Still colorful closer to the level 3. But Happy has arrived on tier 3, going for Frenzy, going for the Lich. MG Talents? Could be MG Talents without bears, but then... I'm not too sure. He has one Care Bear coming. Suspiciously 7 Supply open. But this has taken way, way, way too long. Colorful got nothing done in the past minute, I want to say? And still no level 3. Okay. Going for more bears. That's the coil, but no steel. Used it for nothing. And that is so close to 3. Riju running. Colorful is not in a bad spot at all. The living armor of Riju is surely helping in this position, but you need to engage. You need to prevent this red spot if possible. But how? Against Nova and Coil. That item goes to Happy. Strength and agility boosted by the Helm of Valor. And it's simply more bears currently. Dust settles, both retreat. And we got a new sub. Thank you, Slakor, for the 25 month. Germany. <laughs> okay. The slowest and most peaceful face. Except if you're a creep. Well then, it's not that great. Eighty-four. Good morning. Very excited for your performance in Meisterschaft later to this week, tomorrow, right? No, today. Today. Okay, Naga has arrived on two, so a fort lightning is available. What's Colorful's next strategic choice? He's getting ready for 60. Happy already paying upkeep. But what to attack? The main? Probably not. Colorful 
still doesn't have to fight the level 2 coil. And with that, the Demon Hunter is basically free to do whatever he wants. I thought Invo Potion. There's a Town Portal on the Naga and the Staff as well. For his bear going down, that Riju under the Invo is doing a great job. So is the range. But only one Destroyer down, traded for two bears. But instant reinforcements coming for Colorful. These archers will be traded now. And Happy still inches away from level 2 coil. God, the burns are good. Really good. And Colorful is fighting. Ooh, careful though. Careful though. Is that too much? That's definitely level 3. Colorful can't... He wanted to go for the deny. But the damage was just a little too hard to calculate. So what's next? Red spot for happy. Unbelievable. How he maneuvered out of this position. A player's forces are under attack. If Colorful wanted to go for Mountain Giants, he could queue upgrades now. Or, you know, plant the Ancient of Wind. Because upkeep is working in his favor. He's staying at 50 the entire time and finally has some peace to creep things. Rune Bracers. Perfect. If you want to survive Coil Nova Fork Lightning, this item helps you out a ton. And now they're sharing the remaining parts of the map. Only more Dryads. I feel like this is not strong enough. I got three. Good luck with that nuke. This will force a town portal. And it's also level three. It's all oh, that one wisp. Only a demon hunter. Happy doesn't fall for the staff, obviously. And here we go. Weird choke to engage into. These bears are gonna have a hard time maneuvering through that choke. But Happy respects the night elf base, pulling back just a little bit. Nice redo. Redo? No. Devour. And it's kind of clear that Happy wants to end it. He got Burrow. He gets the next upgrade. He probably didn't check the Rune Bracers. That's pretty good. DK in a world of trouble, but has an Invo Potion also. Look at the Concave. Destroyer falling. Perfectly calculated by Colorful. Lich in trouble now. Pure hero focus. And with that, the Lich goes down. Orc goes down. Massive drop in damage. Colorful, what a performance here on this map so far. But Happy still has two heroes. Never count him out. The splits to basically 270 degrees. And the Naga is safe. The DH is looking very, very potent. Gets another Fiend kill here. Wonderful, wonderful fight by our challenger. Um, I don't know what to say. Happy losing a level 3 Lich and two Fiends, really? Even burning the statues now, but gotta be careful. Happy's block, not perfect yet. As the Naga's looking for more levels on the right hand side, or more importantly, stealing this camp away. Trying to steal this camp away. Do we continue fighting? I think so. Another invo potion here. Yeah, can't survive the hero nuke. This seems a little bit too strong. Double invo potion now. Naga got one herself. Can he get this demon hunter to even five? And enough energy. A little bit of a boost for the Naga, but I think the combat items are worth more. So probably a trade coming. Incredible that this this is A player's forces are under the attack. most standard night elf play. Demon Hunter Naga Dryad Bears. I think you can only improve it for like more standardization if you play Demon Hunter Panda. But apart from that, this is what Night Elf played for years. It was just a very good early game. 
preventing level 3 decay for a long while. Orb is spreading now, of course, so is Coil Nova. And this will all be healed by one Ritu, I think. So it's a good trade, trading this for mana. Ooh. What are we thinking? Not much to work with. Good DK movement here, always to the back, so he can't be burned that easily. If the Trapper netted the DH here. <laughs> That's not possible. You can't... Uh, the creeps can't ensnare heroes. Was Colorful too hesitant? Going into upkeep. It's four destroyers. Oh my god. The damage is insane. How do you save these bears? You gotta get rid of the Destros. But Happy Micros them back. Same goes for the Fiend. Three units about to drop. This is ten supply in the palm of his hand. Bears running around. Getting the next Fiend. But Colorful, what's left? What's just left? The bears just evaporated. And this is why in the late game, you really want to go for something else. You really want to have talents against the destroyers. You really want to have mountain giants against this magic damage. And all that can save him is hero kills now. One demon hunter to rule them all. Naga in trouble. Goes to the moon juice. Invo potion. We told you he had two. Demon hunter level five now. Naga might just be dead. We still have a potion. Colorful. You aren't able to clean this up, are you? But this is perfect stutter stepping. This is frost armor. This is great, great Warcraft micromanagement displayed by Happy once again. Evasion kicking in. Colorful might be able to close the supply gap just a little bit. Because there's still fiends hurt. There's still a lich hurt. But how do you rebuild? There's no lumber. Why is there no lumber for Colorful? Dryads are expensive, of course. Another nuke. Is the potion still there? No, it's not. Naga, 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 staff! Ooh. Are we able to rebuild from here? Really? I doubt it. Colorful 600 gold. Imagine the situation if he could just continue rebuilding. It would be... 44 supply, maybe? Maybe even more. This super explosive fight with four destroyers. That's the weakness of bears. But, silver lining everybody. Destroyers are dead weight. There's only two remaining. Without mana they don't do anything. Except the spell. Demon Hunter level 5.1. Naga close to 5. can of course morph new destroyers if you want to. This army is laughable. Main basis. 1400 gold. Did he detonate all the wisps? What happened to the wisps? Okay, is this the knockout punch? Demon Hunter didn't burn for a long time. He couldn't find Happy, and so he couldn't burn. And there is a little bit of mana, but now you see the damage decrease. Uh oh, we're just straight up going for the hero! No moon juice anymore! He bought a town portal! But for what? For a counter Naga kill, but Happy always has an invuln. Yeah, and now what do you do? Apply a Reju. Good luck! Another Dryad falling. 20 supply lead. Colorful stemming against the defeat. He needs these kills. Yeah, for a more explosive Fork Lightning 3. In the super late game. Is he the one with another mine? In 700 gold. Happy is not mining anymore. He can of course sell his base. Colorful can move it over. And of course, the ultimate, or the ultimate, is definitely better for Colorful. Happy seems in full control, though. 
Is the staff ready? Has to be ready. Absolutely is. Draining invul potions. Good staff usage. Good efficiency. It's nighttime. He's always getting a little bit of juice back. Fork lightning is ready. Level three. Aiming for the ledge. Maybe. Or Naga. Something. If the Naga is gone, there's way less control. Speaking of control. Staff. Oh, no. It wasn't ready. Two seconds on a cooldown. And that is GG, everybody. Oh. Sad. Sad, sad, sad affair. But goddamn colorful, you're impressive. Happy takes the W, but colorful takes our hearts. I guess that's the story of map number one. Very, very good start. I hope that he's not getting deterred from the result of this game. There was a chance for colorful, surely. It's so annoying though, for a long time you're not getting anything done. The first fight was insane by Colorful. How he split the bears, found new targets, how he got the dryads out of fiend range. Really good. But then Happy came back. With four destroyers and three of them at mana and then it was over. How does this game look if he's not losing the Demon Hunter? Can he rebuild? Can he establish another mine? Can he work on the moon wells? Ah, <sighs> so close. As so often, so close. Okay, map two, everybody. Echo Isles. Is it gonna be the same game again? I'm so sure we see a lot of Demon Hunter here. Happy's taking a little break, apparently, after that game. It was, what was it, 25 minutes? No, 23 minutes, probably, as the mines were about to be empty. 22. Stressful! But a good start, nonetheless. Way more competitive than most of you would have uh, thought, I think. Certainly more competitive than I thought. But concealed is sometimes, oftentimes, Colorful's best map. Will this happen again? Happy is, of course, the big favorite. For many people, it's just a question how many maps Colorful can take. It's been quite a while since he got another map from him. 17 and 1. The lifetime stats. Impressive. Well, let's see. Echo Outs 2. Happy right hand side. This time it's a ghoul build. No Ted Fiends no more. On the other side, Colorful. Very close to the mercenary camp. Is he willing to go for immolation and sacrifice his evasion, his tankiness for creep speed? This is one of these maps where you can acquire level 3 in 90 seconds. Autumn Leaves and this one, I think, are the only ones. And yeah, he will see that it's a ghoul build. That is more aggression. 
but also more targets. And this, as I said, is a map where emulation can be great. Happy's Alta and Crypt are pointing south. Is the Mapman going expansions again? Happy trying to disrupt this creeping. Demon Hunter is out. We're still waiting for the DK and we look at his inventory what he's doing. Is he selling the town portal? Is he going for a skull? Skull indeed, immediately. And emulation is online. Is it? Wow, just one skull. Really? Colorful with great wisp timing can detonate that. I guess when there's detonate, or oh, Ring of Region, fantastic. He just texts. It's a great counter to a demon hunter. Because he can't harass with a keeper or like a keeper. But yeah, burn him down. This ring of regeneration will restore thousands of HP. Both players with a great switch. The pet, of course, adjusting to the map. Be careful, don't walk into that trap. He wants the ziggurats gone, that's clear. And surrounding an immolation demon hunter is not the wisest page in the book. Ooh, happy trying to block, colorful trying to block, just a tad too late as he was busy with his shadow priest on the left hand side. And colorful, he can do damage. But he can't find kills. Lots and lots of targets though. Does he want to run in? Not really. We have coil, as you saw, so no aura just yet. The expo might work. And then it's faster than Colorful's expo. Saving a lot of mana is colorful. I like that. He sees he has no chance to really do uh, damage here. A little bit of a stalemate. Both are gearing up for the mid game. A player's forces are under attack. Happy not committing. Just the defense, four ghouls are enough in the main base. Only one. Wow. Okay, he has the lumber to check. Happy wants to get some information, but Colorful is creeping at the same time. I like this. He's getting more done. But yeah, this... Oh my god, this is a crazy number of ghouls. Happy start the tech. Doesn't he need more lumber? We've seen this before. That he sacrifices a lot of uh, wood income. Oh no. Oh, there's a coil and a half. Gets it. Of course he does. And there's the town portal, isn't it? But this is calculated. It might be calculated. Level three now. Staff out. Wasn't that much damage to the ghouls. I thought, okay, if he's getting surrounded and all the ghouls are at 50%, this push is stopped. But it wasn't. Panda second this time. And more pressure. I didn't even see the staff. So this was real good. Demon Hunter soaking up a lot of moon juice, obviously. DK is dry. And this is the damage that I was looking for. Happy still gets the last hit, but at what cost? That's one ghoul. That's probably two. As we get... Yep. There might even be three. As we have boots and staff. This is, of course, all expensive. But if Happy wanted to go for a ghoul push against this tree, that's not happening. Oh, 
Look at the production of Happy, though. Is it him? Going Garks? It is! Oh, wow. It's been so long since we've seen this. Remo and I were advocating for this. As Garg seemed to be a hell of a counter. But we have a panda. Tier 3 starting instantly. Creature attack. And yeah. Lich coming. Old school undead. Hasuops, come back! It's your meta! Three, four misses? What the hell? And yeah, this demon hunter is so annoying. It's so well played. Yo, KMS, I am. Greetings to the family. He sees the Garks. He knows, okay, I got my panda up. He will be three. That's all fine. Is there a transition into hippos later or not? Base pretty well protected. Statue's coming. Six schools. And the Gark Harass begins. Colorful has no stationary defense. Demon Hunter is such a beast! Three claws! Look at him go. But of course, with Triple Crypt, Happy will rise up to a lot of supply, but oh, he wants to creep jack first. Happy has no TP, mind you, but also barely any lockdown except the dried and drunken haze. Also, a debuff on movement speed. Hold on. Is that just a... Oh, he got a TP on the Lich. I see, I see, I see. With a breath, he's dead. Happy! Not willing to sacrifice a TP for the Lich. He has a thousand gold, but it takes the Lich off the map. And so he can't level currently. Another game that's looking really good for Colorful at this stage. And it is a Hippo transition. Drunken Haze. He has no TP. What did I click on? Am I... Oh my. I'm rusty. Uh, sorry, didn't cast in five days. He had no TP indeed. Didn't I see it? I clicked on the Demon Hunter by accident, I guess. The claws all confusing. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, I take it back. Anyway, wouldn't have been worth the TP. Oh, chat, what, what would I do without you, chat? I love this transition. Chippos. No. Bippos? Bips and hippos? Ring of Region now on happy side as well. But Colorful wants to keep pushing. These Gargs never harass the thing. Usually when you play Gargs, you want to hunt the Wisp to slow down tier 3, to slow down mass dryads. But that never happened. Heroes are... Oh, that Breath of Fire was uh, interesting. Dreadlord third. Mostly just for Vampiric Aura. And now I, the question is, will we see Keeper for Thorn's Aura to counter the Dreadlord with Vamp Aura? Is that the game we've been looking for? Nasty Drunken Haze Breath of Fire. Look at all the misses. Look at all the burns. Stone Form isn't ready yet. We have a heal scroll. Just one though. Oh, that panda is a beast. Look at him go. Look at the Night Elf heroes in general go. And the traits are clearly, clearly in favor of Colorful every single time. 
You gotta know that the Dreadlord is coming. Sleep first. But he's easily burned. And then that's... It's a lot of mana for the sleep. He has two left. And no chimes yet. Bears and Hippos coming on, line up 280. Happy desperate for XP. Isn't that the levels yet? Three, two, and one. Of course, adding a third hero always means that your first two heroes won't get level 5 5 too easily. Is that a wisp? No, just bears. I thought maybe he's expanding. Happy is. This must be scouted. But Colorful wants to end it right here. 80 food. Upgrades. 0-2. I always forget. Is Vamp Aura calculated before or after armor? So if you upgrade armor, does it regain less HP? Happy with two one upgrades already, but it doesn't help you against spell damage. And there's no destroyer. He has an uh, he has the upgrade, but it will be torn to pieces, won't it? After armor, pretty sure. Oh, guys, there is a scout. Happy has no lumber again. Who wants to dance? You're all invited. Hippo Rider, interestingly. Holy moly. Colorful got a lot of information for that Hippo Rider. This is an absurd amount of... Of gargoyles. Three heal scrolls as well. Happy going up to 90. And he didn't burn for a while. Careful. Where's the better army? Colorful has 1300 gold. What are you invested into? Invo potion heal scrolls, obviously. So two heal scrolls versus three. The big advantage of undeads, of course, they can buy heal scrolls in their main. Three, three upgrades for colorful soon. Same for happy. <sighs> Can't prevent the next ad, by the way. Which is coming in four minutes. It's a bad timing, I know. Gotta get ready. Both going up 200. Oh my god, this fight will be so hard to cast. Another clause of attack. And Boots of Kaltalas. Is Happy willing to fight? He got the Dreadlord too. Ooh, careful now. Are you willing to engage? Drunken Haste, Breath of Fire, hitting half the army. How quick was this dispel? Jeez, Louise. That moon will, will finish. Needs some repair. Colorful 86 food. Demon Hunter, not part of the fight at the moment. Dreadlord requires a coil. Gets it. More Dryad streaming in. Such a diverse army for this matchup, and here we go. These hippos, that's not your timing, guys. Level three immediately, colorful down to 86, but Happy is forced into a town port and lost a lot of gargs too. And 5-5 five, five is not delusional for colorful. 4-4, four, 4-2 four, four, at the moment. Not using a heal scroll either. Such an even fight. Both stay at 80 now. Ooh, you gotta be so careful with these 
Hippos. If you fly too close to them, they're all dead. You need the support of a panda. Where's the fighting position? Colorful can't afford to start the fight without Roar. And with the hippos away from the fight. Okay, so Colorful is making the decision to rather go for 5-5 five, five heroes instead of adding a keeper. Understandable. Both level 3 spells so good. Breath of Fire, absurd damage. Mana burn 3, you know it. Oh, one guard for free. That Nova hit a lot and the Panda wasn't there to start the fight. Happy is banking a lot as Colorful is in high upkeep. He wants to end the fight now. Or start the fight now, rather. Waiting for 3-3, three, three. waiting for 100. Happy had the information, the Colorful was pumping, so he's pumping too. This will be an insane storm, Panda, you gotta have a staff. He does, is Colorful overwhelmed? He flew a little too close to the sun and Happy just kills whatever is in range. There's still no expansion at 12 o'clock. But Happy is moving south. He just burned through a thousand gold and more for the hundred supply. Oh, Colorful wants this expansion so desperately. But yeah, this is heal scroll number four. And five. You can't fight this. Two heal scrolls versus five? No way! Happy could go up to seven scrolls if he wants to! <laughs> 2,000 gold left in the gold mines. Everybody waiting in anticipation. Can you break the base? Six scrolls. Oh my god. That's 900 HP. This is unwinnable for Colorful. Both at 100. Nobody has a bank. But the inventory is clearly better for Happy. How do you want to do it, Colorful? How? Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, Roar everywhere. Oh my god. Colorful's air army is just disappearing. But this was a lot of heal scrolls. This was three heal scrolls. Can the panda carry? I don't think so. Oh my god, everything is just disappearing. This DK might be in trouble soon. Level 5 on the demon. It's not like Colorful is not getting any kills, but more and more dryads are falling. Drunken Haze. Oh, sleep before the breath! Happy's so good! Now he woke up. Demon Hunter in trouble, though. Staff is ready! Last second. Lynch in trouble. Now the panda is 5. Maybe just a tad too late. DK as well. Still a massive supply lead. Nothing that a panda can't deal with. Demon Hunter is back. Can he get level 6? No, he just arrived on 5. Here's the coil. Nova! And the staff is obviously on cooldown. TP on 13. But the value of heal scroll is showing exactly here. Army is ready at 70. And this is the time where Happy has map control and immediately starts the next expansion. And this is the game winner.
Holy moly, that was so much value lost. Let's take a look. <laughs> See the dip. Seven hundred gold. Colorful, of course. No upkeep. Happy not all the guards have prioritized on them. Incredible. What a mistake. But how do you get out of the situation as colorful? He can rebuild to a degree. But Happy can just do the same again. This time in the fight, there is level 3 mana burn and level 3 breath of fire. And it's only two heal scrolls, not six. But the army is a lot weaker. Only now rebuilding the hippos. Okay, main base empty. Happy is 1800 here. It's a lot more gold in the south. <sighs> no ultimates nearby. Colorful is not giving this up yet. How do you defeat these guards? It looks impossible. With mass detonate. Oh my god. Happy moves the heroes to the side. And Colorful seems a little overwhelmed. These detonates do nothing. Oh boy. This could have been so good. Yet it isn't. Drunken Haze Breath of Fire immediately counted. Hippos disappearing. Level 4 on the Dreadlord. And this is just an overwhelming air mass. No chance for the Gargs, no chance for anything eh, for the Gargs, for the Dryads. Twice the supply plus 544 four heroes is unwinnable. It was the one moment in this stalemate situation where Colorful allowed Happy to go to the shop for heal scrolls 5 and 6. That was the game. That was the game. Ah, oh, sad. Once again, such a great performance by Colorful. But it wasn't enough. It rarely ever is enough against this beast. Of a Warcraft player. He's just the perfect one. Always makes the right decisions. But man, in the fights, when it's even, it's looking real good for Colorful. But it feels like Happy always has this one advantage. Yeah, this game comes down to one little slip by Colorful, allowing Happy so many heal scrolls. Still an incredible performance by Colorful. <sighs> I wonder... Should undead, undeads have heal scrolls? Maybe with the statues nerfed, 
You could replace it with some sort of... Very small... AoE mana region that also helps statues. Like a sacrificial dagger, but for mana that works on mechanical. Because at some point, statues are always useless, so that's not the greatest game mechanic, I'd say. Just add clarity? No, clarity doesn't do anything uh, for statues. Oh, ghoul pull, everybody! <laughs> this is almost game. Oh no. Creeps are able to attack this engine of war for way too long. He can give this game up. The jewel ghoul! It's, uh... Happy sent the f it first ghoul across the map. Pulled the creeps onto the Ancient of War. Colorful doesn't even have lumber to build the Ancient, so... This is 3-0. Uh, yeah, one hundred percent. What can you do against it? Um, counter aggro the creeps. But Colorful... Apparently a little sloppy with that. Thanks, Baron. Indeed. Baron of the gym community ruining Warcraft on a daily basis. A player's forces are under attack. A count is under well, good thing is Demon Hunter still has emulation, right? So who needs Antinor War Creeping where you can just simply go emulation? This is expensive in mana. Nice to see that Colorful is not instantly giving this up. But instead... Hey! Hey! Oh no. Oh, he just coils him to death. Jesus. This is all the moon juice in the world. The town is under siege. What a heartbreaking game three. Uh, silver lining, it turns nighttime now. So the demon hunter can restore his HP. Player's forces are under attack. It's getting problematic to save these wisps now, man. Ah, this is sad because this result of the score really doesn't do colorful justice. Against any other undead player in the world, this would be 2-0 for him. A player's forces are under attack. Lightning shield creep to perfection. Oh, that's not perfection. Whoops. RNG just wants a longer series, wants a longer game. Even 1 to 0? Yeah, I don't think 1 to 0's Night of matchup is as crazy as Happy's is. A player's forces are under attack. He might have the better mirror. It's not bad by any means, obviously. 1 to 0 is a crazy person. Just think. Happy's Night Elf matchup is just, just perfect. Yo, how to get level three now? He can recover from this. Okay, I'm uh, curious.
everything healed up by Ritual Dagger and the ghouls are coming in again. They were so successful in the early minutes of the game. A player's forces are under attack. Town is under siege. Oh, town portal force at this stage of the game. Oy, oy, oy. I mean, good targets for immolation. It's nighttime, so the archers can't hide, but there is dust against it. Solid defense on the cost of a town portal, of course. On Amazonia, might not even be that bad. Because the map is so small, you usually never need it. From downtown, baby! Okay, Colorful is getting... His name on the scoreboard, on this map. I see a shredder. Yeah! Six minute shredder. When do you ever see this? Makes sense though, a lot of wisps went down. Now I got second by happy. Don't get the stolen, don't get the stolen. All right. Inventory seems fine and happy. Losing more and more ghouls, trades for archers, I'm not the biggest fan. Oh, it's colorful only now going for a lore. Guys, this demon hunter is quite a beast. But we have no staff, DH gotta be careful, also no TP. I uh, just reminded himself like, yeah, that's not too great. Boots though, calculated this. And the Naga is there for counter arrows. Oof, the game for Colorful on the knife's edge though. But how many ghouls with this, like four? His tech is not too far behind. Very curious to see that Happy is just donating his units away like that. Dude. The fact that Colorful is alive 7 minutes 30 in the game with an XP advantage is mind-blowing. Demon Hunter Naga a transition into fiends, by the way. Obviously. Just wanted to mention it. And Happy's desperate for the rival of statues. Do casters read chat? Nope. Never. State of this chat today, by the way. After map 2, someone said uh, Ritual Dagger is way too weak and needs a complete rework. Two minutes into this game, chat says that Ritual Dagger is way too strong. So, everything is always too strong and always too weak. A player's forces are under attack. There's no clear hive mind. In that regard. Super late shop, you had to skip that in favor of tier 3 and lores. Great mana potion. Love to see it. For fork lightning. Neo reads carefully, Remo takes a look at chat every 20 minutes while being muted. <laughs> There's truth to that! What can I say? What can I say? <sighs> he needs to read you. It's not wrong. Yeah, I know. 
Okay, Colorful made it to tier 3. Even in supply. Great items. Double level three. Happy as frenzy and destroyer form. What's his item? Greater healing. There's a lot of hero focus, so greater healing might not be the worst. Moon juice. Ooh, dry. Map is about to be empty. Also, Remo makes you wait a minute every five minutes. I've waited 23,500 minutes now. My life is ruined. <laughs> okay, here's the fight. A decisive fight for map three. Bears again melting in seconds thanks to the destroyer, but the mana is once again gone. This is the time to shine for the big potion of greater healing. Colorful probably didn't check all the inventory or wanted to burn it fast. Needs an invo, gets it, needs a redo under it as well, or a staff. This time he can't lose this DH. That fight, pretty even, I'd say. See, that was hella funny. Now he pulled back. Good for colorful. Nighttime now. Level four. Finally evasion. Oh, that's just a beast. Look at him. Yeah, they seriously can't complain about damage, that's for sure. One heal scroll on each side. No invul for colorful, but the illusion. Can he fake happy? Usually happy are the sixth sense for plays like this. Ooh, might be able to find a fiend in transit. Ooh. Red spot creep jack. Oh my god, this is colorful's opportunity. The creeps are helping him. Not the entire army is here. Happy also no TP. Can he get a hero kill? Can he get rid of this army? Colorful, you earned it if you win this match. It's such a miracle after the early game that we've seen. Again, no mana on the destroyer. Supply lead, little bit with Happy. Demon Hunter and DK both in trouble. Aiming for the fork lightning. Happy blocks himself a little bit. D level up. Oh my god. And here's the counter focus. There is no TP on... Colorful! What's the demon hunter doing? He's standing in the middle. Everything is hurt, but nothing is dead. And this is just desperation. Lynch! No! The heal scroll at the perfect timing. So is the staff. Insane Warcraft. At this stage, it's an art. But man, the damage distribution was so perfect for Happy that he could counter everything with the heal scroll. So... Sick. If Colorful has an invul potion in this fight. Happy. Not only in TP League, also here winning a 2 versus 1. This is just insane. This is... He's just on another level than anyone else. Feels like Happy is the one playing Warcraft 3 while everybody else in the scene plays Warcraft 1.
What do you do against a person who does everything perfect? Yeah, and uh, that Shredder in the fight is not gonna happen. Happy is paying upkeep though. Colorful, can you stall this out again? Oh boy, a little bit of Riju. Staff is not ready. Happy knows it. Can't reach for the destroyer dispel. Whew, that was the saving grace. Man, you gotta fight hard for this rat spot, don't you? Demon Hunter again with an invul potion. Uh, with a heal potion. No invul potion. That broke his neck in fight one. Oh, Talisman is fantastic. More damage and more HP in a matchup that's so hero focus centric. And now happy aiming for the revenge does exactly to colorful what colorful did to him before the granite goal oh my god two stuns katka's pipe super nice but too late again no tp and colorful is in no fighting shape look at happy go opens the fight oh heal potion on the ground yikes that is overwhelming uh, uh. yeah you're watching walker 3 everybody nothing else So sad. This is so heartbreaking. You know me. I'm not as big of a colorful fan as I am, for example, for Lolliot or a Kevin or whatever. Other night elves. Remo is usually the colorful fan, but how can you not be sympathetic towards colorful in this series? After a ghoul pull that ruined his early game, still fighting to the 17 minute mark. <sighs> Colorful is a warrior today. But unfortunately he's not winning. Ah, oh, that's so sad. But that's how life is if you're up against the Dominator. Dominator! Like seriously, this is the best colorful I've seen in a long, long time. And he's making it so much closer than Moon did in the Ted Cup finals, remember? That looked like Happy was in an MMA match with a preschooler. This is super competitive and it comes down to the tiniest nuances. Super high level on that versus Night Elf. And now... <laughs> okay. Bear with me, everybody. This Twisted Meadows. The greatest map that allows for a warden. Colorful, especially, oh, oh, I worry already. Especially with this position, with the Ancient of War at the mercenary camp. This happened before. Colorful went for a warden, wanted to creep the spot. Happy arrived with the DK, killed all, and stole the item. GG. Please don't let this happen again.
Nothing moving across the map this time. Happy could also go, instead of that instant harass, could also go for an expansion. This is what he loved. And it is the Warden. I thought we we're going to see full out seven maps without diverging first heroes. He needs the full camp and a sick item. Camp pulled already. So happy can't manipulate it against him. Happy has to make a decision. To harass this instantly or not. Three wisp healing. Interesting. Warden is around. Happy will gather this information and decide based on that. Yeah, and you clearly have to respect the Acolyte. Against no other undead, you would put the Shadow Strike on the Acolyte. No other. And these items are crazy good. The buffed wand of mana stealing. Plus slippers and the shadow priest. This is as good as it gets, but also because Happy allows it and goes for an expansion himself. This time we see double skull, by the way. Still taking quite some time and a lot of resources, of course, of three wisp repair. That's a lot. Okay, we'll colorful figure this out. And if yes, how fast? Wisps are moving across the map. Probably scouting the wrong spot I mean if happy leaves you alone you can bet your butt that this is an expansion because there's no other reason to leave you alone A player's forces are under attack. happy bought dust who oh, had the telly staff nice That stops the Warden very, very early on. Ghouls on the right-hand side causing some trouble. It's also seven ghouls again invested in the early game. Happy clearly wants to stop the Warden from level three. And if you take her off the map, you do exactly that. Damn, they're still playing Twisted Meadows. We remade it a bit. So it's forced crossbone. Creep spots are a little repositioned, and it's the greatest map that was ever made. A player's forces are under attack. Cool still waiting in the wings for an attack. One couldn't get much done. This can't be a steal. important very important one skeleton for level three here we go and that is bully time we're still waiting there is happy unwilling to commit them yes he is the warden is finish But Happy's expand. Oh my god. Oh, 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 not good. This was a weird position for an expansion already. Very defensive. Happy still finds it. Ghoul splits everywhere.
This is not enough damage by Colorful. Not with two ways, one base. Happy stack has started. Colorful is there already. Bonus experience for the ward now. And again, the amount of damage that Happy can do with a DK, like... Absurd. If Dota was a one-on-one -on -one game, imagine how crazy good this guy would be. Second crib, no third, that means fiends. Yeah, expansion on the spot now. Um You can still stall time as a night elf. But Happy's banking a thousand gold already. We'll get to level 3 in no time, and then what? This has to be the game of whack-a-mole. Like, when you don't put a single point of damage towards an undead expansion, this is very, very hard. And the scout is coming along. This far from over, obviously. Happy still has to stop Colorful's expo. As tier 3 is also on the way. And Warden is closing in on 5 after this spot. Like 4.4-ish, 4.5. But the push will be st hard to stop. Scouting here, scouting there. Never missing. Plus nine edgy, that helps. Double spirit tower. Tier 3 on the way, Lich is out, more fiends, and statues on the way. What can the Warden 5 still do in this game? That's the X Factor. Oh my god! <laughs> 15 extra agility. That's a lot of armor. And a lot of right click damage, obviously. Lionhorn, pretty sweet. And then, this is allowed. Full glass cannon? Not really, as agility gives you armor. As you can see, 8.6 armor is not bad. And we got Fanon knives. And we're now on level 5. Kinda interesting to see that Happy allows Colorful so much with that Fiend transition. But yeah, there's no reason to fight before... Oh my god, Greater Mana Potion. <sighs> the Zeppelin is ready, of course he is. Of course it is! A player's force is Happy was just waiting for this exact moment. It's not super flashy or game winning, but it's just the, the essential things that Happy always does right. Now Panda 1. Fan of Knives for now, pretty good. But the statue is here, healing against it. 
But there's a lot of mana. There's a lot of fans. Drunken Haze first, though. It's not that great for instant fights. It's great for creeping. Dark Ranger third to prevent this blink. Thank you, Twarm, with a 23-month resub. Closing in on two years, mate. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, blink staff. Happy couldn't find her during nighttime. But again, the Tri Hero Night Elf. Uh, the Tri Hero Undead. It's not gonna be that crazy high level. Oh, so These items are so sick. Mantle Claw, Big Mana Potion, Devotion. And now Sobi Mask. Triple heal scroll. Good luck holding this push. The biggest asset for Colorful is AoE damage from this Warden. And we have three heal scrolls against it. How? I don't know. The Warden needs to explode into damage and happy, I don't know, like without Breath of Fire. He has a little bit more crowd control if he gets the Drunken done. This not even reveal, is it? Nope. Send something to the lab. Too late. Web is ready. Ancient is ready. But yeah, these hippos don't do anything. Warden jumps in. But this panda seems to be a liability. Full pressure on the DK. There's no invo potion on him. Only a town port and colorful wants to buy more time. The Dark Ranger! Oh, ho, 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 close. Gets a coil last second. But happy. Can't take the fight at the moment, it seems, as long as these heroes have mana. Super careful with Drunken Haze. There would be some value on the Drunken, I feel. Sick, silence, Warden, staff out. Not part of the fight anymore. Can't staff in again if she heals, but Colorful seems to be a little overwhelmed at the moment. There she is. If only he gets level 2. There we have it. With the Drunken Haze with a fire combo. Do a lot. The heal scrolls are gone. Colorful again with an extraordinary fight. But the silences. The silences are sick. Tau double town portal now. Rare sight. God damn. Very well done by Colorful. Very, very, very well done. He burned through the scrolls. He burned through the big mana. Happy lost a lot of value over there. Colorful is insane today. So we're going to the red spots. What do we get? A counter silence? To happy silence? Very interesting again. Double claw on the dark range, another on the lich. Pendant of <laughs> Oh boy! This is eight coils. Katka's gem not really that helpful. Makes the hero quite a tank. I mean against new against undead nuke. It's pretty good. But it's not what he was hoping for. Zeppelin again, perfect. He plays double Zeppelin. Yesterday, Walker 3, thank you for the five month resub. Panda 3. Devotion aura for him, too. And Colorful's trying to expand again. Happy probably following. No. Not yet, at least. We have a town portal, another heal scroll, town portal. The scout again, right? Absurd. To 
Twisted never disappoints. Oh, Twisted definitely did not disappoint. And the scout. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious now. How many years it took for the double zap play? Um, yeah, but also the speed in which Happy loads up all the acolytes. Like nobody's close. Okay, he's trying to take Happy off the map. It's not working. He's not falling for the bait. He kills this expansion in the meantime. The Warden is killing this expansion. And a Town Portal trade. Oh, if he gets the Sob? That's really nice. No more statues. And both expansions prevented. I'd say a good trade for Colorful. Look at the gold. He was at 1300 for a bit. Warden's still far away from 6. Her staff is ready. <laughs> Damage pretty good, huh? Triple invul, triple heal scroll. Ouch, ouch, no, these hippos, this is not allowed. Two for free, three for free. And the scout is there as well. But this is exactly how you have to play it. Try to out expand the undead. Thank you, Walk Power, for the 27 month resub. Serious question Would Happy be imbalanced playing human as main race? Dude, Happy could play critters and would still win every tournament. Shorty with the five gifted subs. Wonderful to see that. Shorty is doing a charity run currently called help.exe. Oh, wait a second. We have to fight first. That's uh, important as well. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, and Fan of Knives. How much mana is there? Uh oh, no info potion on that. Warden Dark Ranger in trouble as well. Lich level four. A great asset. How quick is he with the reveal? He needs this reveal. Warden is back, 50%, jumps right in. And the AoE damage seems to be superior as Colorful is at 90 food. And Happy is forced back. He's still, he's a little slow on the heal scrolls maybe. Or makes a deliberate decision to not use them yet. That's the question. Now he's down to one. He has a scout in the bottom left. So this expo might be countered again. Warden still has so much mana though. He can't be seriously waiting for that level six. It's not that time. Staff out. Panda level four. Great asset. DK in trouble. Gets the last heal scroll. There's so many dryads though. Panda in trouble. Panda in trouble. Who town port loud invo potion keeps happy in the middle of the map. And he saved it by kiting. Crazy. And that expo was killed by a ghoul. Of course, in the middle of the fight, he got the ghoul to the bottom left. And expanded. Everything is set up so perfectly. Three two upgrades as well against three three. Very very late game heavy. Not dead yet, but the lack of items because Happy positions himself always in the way that Colorful can't reach the shops. He's back at two heal scrolls. He's back at three invul potions. He's got it all. And Colorful is paying taxes like a madman. What can Colorful do? What's the way out? Is Happy just overwhelming? He needs to get these kills. That's one. Bear staffed out. Exposes the warden a tiny little bit, but HP is looking good. The AoE combo. It needs to work big time. Gets out. Hippo's caught on the right-hand side. Statue is almost gone. Drunken Haze Breath of Fire again. 
One more heal scroll. Oh, doesn't catch that. Double kill for Colorful. And he's taking a huge supply lead now. Careful. One jumps in. Another kill. Maybe Amy for another kill. 5.5. Panda at 4.6. Happy making to the shop, but everything is on cooldown. Yep. Colorful burned through all his mana, though. Every single jump! <laughs> the sickest nuke doesn't lead to anything. Townport for Happy, but he's on four bases soon. Colorful needs to figure out that Happy's expos are growing. <sighs> Sick! Exchanges. Main base empty. Main base empty. Colorful knows about this one. But not about the other. <laughs> A single fiend stops this. A player's forces are under attack. <sighs> Colorful didn't attack this expansion. He ran across the entire map, but couldn't stop the second base. And now it's a game of chicken. Who portals first? Finally the warden connects. As there is also now hippos against the zap. But this is a lot of damage to be done. Moonwell down. Colorful supply blocked at 80. Can't go up to 90 again. With the Tree of Eternity, you might be able to stop this. Nobody's losing their base. But Happy's still a base up. A town is under siege. It's the big fight. Only one heal scroll this time. Panda 5 would be huge! As again, I can't stop the next ad, guys. I'm very sorry about that. It's coming in two minutes. It's marching forward. The damage is crazy. Warden and Panda not in the perfect position. And hippos are gone. He needs a kill or two. Warden staffed out. Big damage on the DK. Oh, oh, here we go. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire once again. Where's the Warden? We're waiting for the Warden. Heal scroll was used. That's the last one. Panda desperately waiting for that level 5, but he can't get the kills. Where is the Warden? Needs it. Town Portal out gets level 5. And another Fiend. Another Fiend. Not really. Oh, was that the fight? Was that the fight? It feels like the Warden... Oh! He portaled to the tree who's on the left hand side. Oh, that's why the warden was so late as well. Oh no. Disaster. Yeah, of course. He moved the tree to have income. And that staffed the warden out of the fight. And that kills his expo. Twelve hundred gold left, plus this base. What never level six? Imagine her with level six. Happy has no heal scrolls though. Can the panda and warden connect? They absolutely have to. As happy is going for yet another base. Colorful had so much gold. Wonder if some sapper play would have been good. All eyes on the warden. All eyes on the lich. There's a coil. Oh, and more kills. So close to six. And then the game is entirely different. DK also close to five. Oh my god, what a hell of a game. 
Panda 5 is a beast. Needs more reveals. This happy army doesn't look too crazy, does it? So many destroyers dead weight. And the panda still can burn these statues. But Happy is just luring Colorful away from the important side of the map, which is the right-hand side map side. Right-hand side map side? Right, you know what I mean. 43 XP. Staff wasn't on cooldown, had to use Blink, that's a bear down. But worth it. Can you get the Dark Ranger? Nope, Invo Potion traded. And Happy won't allow level 6. And now it's one base, two base... Look, three base for a bit. This one's scouted. This one isn't. Happy is again back at two hills plus. How does he afford all this? By not losing too many units, I guess. And two bases all game. Oh, is that six? Not really. It would have been level six without the panda, maybe? I'm not sure. True fraternity being sieged. DK, oh, what are you doing there? Yeah, colorful is allowing happy too many gold mines. Without expanding himself. Happy's getting further and further ahead. Colorful needs a fight of a lifetime. This spell against the Drunken Haze. That's level 6. Avatar immediately needs to be the safe. Needs to be the carry. But the Warden is out of that fight. Panda level 5 and a bit is being nuked. Forced into a town portal. But mind you, he's not ending up next to his moon worlds. He's not getting a shop right next to him. Uh-uh. He's right there on a silver platter away from the corpses that he created as well but hey i'm sure happy is gonna create a lot of corpses and this is what's so brilliant about the dark ranger everything that happy kills with black arrow is not leaving a corpse is not playing in the hands of the avatar happy respects the ultimate though can you raise spirits from a critter corpse apparently not Yes, you can. Damn. Sure. Sure. You know how weird Warcraft is to say sure? Every Thursday I'm suffering because of stuff like this not working. Sure. Just because it works for Roll of Necromancy doesn't mean that it has to work for other stuff as well. Anyway, we have the next big fight. But there's again so many heal scrolls. There's just so much value in this army. Hero focus with the AoE doesn't really work. There's too much mana. The absence of a Demon Hunter mana burn is absolutely noticeable. The panda can't really reach level 6. Oh my god. He's f oh, that's two fiends. Heroes stay alive. That's th almost three fiends. Reveal? No? Probably didn't see it. Income is nuts. You know what? Actually, it's even. But Zeppelin is there to the rescue, and now things go crazy again. A player's forces are under attack. Oops. Yeah. 
He has a town portal. Level 3 coil unlocked. Level 3 Nova inches away. Colorful is diving onto that base. The bears aren't part of it. The panda isn't part of it. Where are the units? Did he forget about them? You can not trade your tree, can you? Breath of fire. You need a TP. Is it enough? Oh my god. It is. It is and he holds and here comes the fight and everything is clumped up going for the DK who took a lot of shots from the Tree of Eternity apparently. Is this the turnaround in the game? Warden trying to go to level 6 Panda again falling a little bit behind but still getting the Fiend kill. The bear's always trailing behind. Ah, kill, 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 kill. There we go. Weird fight. Destroyer about to fall as well. Income is even. And a Destro fell somewhere. Close to six. This is doable, guys. 32 minute Twisted Meadows. The greatest map of all time. Happy's expanding bottom left as well. He's spreading colorful thin. Who's hoping desperately for that panda ultimate. And then damage is off the charts. Happy has no heal scroll anymore. Also almost out of mana, especially on the DK. No mana potion. The Sobi mask is helping. The statues are helping. But Colorful, he's owning right now. It's, don't lose a hero. Don't, lo don't get too greedy. Don't fly too close to the sun. But it's all time for Happy, obviously, to get this one back up and to get this one up. The distraction play by Happy is godlike. But in the fights, he doesn't stand a chance anymore. <sighs> Nasty. Nasty blink. That's the last coil. He went to the shop, so there is another heal scroll. Not the last healing. It feels like the panda's always traveling a little bit behind. Trailing, I mean. Probably in one group with the bears and they're all a little slower. But this fight, these fights allowed Happy two bases. One is scouted with two hurt bears, okay. But what about the bottom left? On one base, one base, Colorful is more than fine. Dryad split to the side as he realized there's no spirit tower. Oh, that's a dead bear, though. Another statue. And that's six! That's level six! I was worried that the panda was out of range. Earth, storm, and fire heat my call. We are also inches away from Coil Nova 3. Jeez Louise, what a game! Dryad's not really touchable by narrow Towers. He's holding on, waiting for the ultimate, has a long cooldown. This base is going down. Happy has to rebuild Acolytes. Constantly. But the bottom left is up. Oof, there's a lot of losses for Colorful here though. Two bears. We get Disease Cloud by the way. Very great for the late game. Oh, is he willing to... Sp Ah, was about to say, is he willing to go for the avatar? Because there's so many corpses, there would have been a ton of spirits. But mana was too low. Oh, that would have been a sick play. Still happy as three bases versus one. This one just saturated. Oh, 
We are 8 XP short of Nova 3. One heal scroll. For the first time we're gonna see the panda ult. Happy as a TP, of course. When will you jump in? Trying to backstab to prevent the kiting abilities. Is it time for the ult? And Happy will TP out. What do you do? Warden in a little bit of trouble. Level 5 on the lich. That was not preventable at all. And yeah, that is the TP. I like Colorful's fight again. Supply stays even. Sapper! He's distracting with the Dryads. Trying to get rid of that narrow, but that should give Happy a long time and the acolytes already there what a waste the panda has to come in or the warden or something this is a lot of kills this happened a little too late staff is not ready for 80 seconds the warden will not be part of the army and happy is about to be intercepting oh boy oh boy avatar finally makes it to this expansion oh they are still corpses one's gonna run fast maybe even use the little mana to blink And now the Warden is missing. Does he have to pull the... Ah, oh, she's there. Was about to say, does he have to pull the Panda Ultimate? Not really. And that is a lot of spirits. That's the play that Colorful wanted to go for four minutes ago. 38 minutes. Blue bears. So conservative with the panda ult. Rather breath of fire, that's a safe bet. That's always an exchange. Two more coils. Oh my god, this pendant of mana, by the way, is crazy. And Happy is expanding at Colorful's natural. Can you believe it? Warden in trouble, being stepped out, or, or blinks away, rather. Can you go for... Nah, Cyclone doesn't really work, right? Against the two destroyers up in the air. Panda is a major tank. A-bomb is falling. No, that's all death and death. Always a coil. My god, what a game. Destro falling, big XP. Next breath of fire, here's the ult! Okay, what triggered this? The cyclone, maybe the absence of destroyers, but here it is, an instant TP. Can he catch another destroyer to make it worth it? So close. And now there's a three minute cooldown. Colorful, scout your natural. Please, scout your natural. It's so easy for us to say. We got Omnivision. But this expo running for 2k and this coming up. This must be too much, no? But there's no movement on the map. No wisps, no dryads. Excellent scouts. It's not using it. There we go. Level 7. But the push is coming. Is the Warden Staff ready? Must be. Yep, and he jumps in, trading a TP. Happy can of course go for the trades. Reveal. It's gotta be... Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Okay, took out the statue, takes out the fiend, wonderfully done. Ancient of War to counter this. Avatar to counter this. Colorful! He's finding the answers. Forty-one minutes. More acolytes killed. Is happy tired out? <clears throat> One minute left, and he- Oh my god, he, this is countered. 
This has to be sold. 50 seconds on the Panda Ultimate. Staff is ready. This is once again just a trade. Huge supply lead. Colorfuls. Level 7. Do you guys know how crazy Drunken Haze 3 is? He's not going for it. Uh, okay. Dark Ranger close to 5. One. Need the staff. Need the staff. Oh. Sick blink. Here's the breath of fire again, but the dry it falls. That's level five. Will this game end here? Maybe. Probably not wanted. Oh my god. The guts. But what about the panda now? Has to go for the ultimate. Going for the DK. What? Get him up. Beam me up, Scotty. There's no dispel. Oh, there is with the destroyer coming in. That saves the lid. That saves everything. Statue. Man, the focus fire on colorful this game is so close to perfect. But that was once again a panda ultimate drain for three minutes. That saved him though because the warden was under so much pressure. So was the panda. It's daytime for a little bit. And Colorful is paying more attention to mines now. I like it. Thank you, Bandylock, for the eight-month resub. That reminds me that Shorty gifted five subs and he's doing a charity run at the moment. Help.exe uh, seven-day marathon. Gathering funds for a, a Cancer Prevention for Children Association. Very, very cool. I checked in. Yesterday, I will check in today. Help.exe. Like, executable. EXE. Damn, I wanted to block this like 20 minutes ago, and then there was a fight, and then they never stopped. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Two dryads for free. No town portal on Colorful, but he's close. 2,000 gold only. That's why he has the expansion on the upper right-hand side. Happy is 10 foot down. Only going for the Entangled now. Okay, town portals are expensive. So are heal scrolls, invul potions. 7-7. Seven, seven. Gets a bear. Moves away. And he kills? Not really. Only two wisps here. Happy's mining is established. Empty. And countered. After 20 minutes of uneven economy, we're kinda down to one base, one base soon, with even an advantage for Colorful now. Okay, this... Ooh. This should be an easy nuke on the avatar. Which is also a three minute cooldown. Can't you attack the zap? Every kill he gets here is more income. Thank you, I kissed the ghoul for the 2 one three sub. <laughs> Did you like it? Here we go again. How high can we go? Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire. Lich catches the coil. There's way more coils, but what about the Dark Range? The coil is on cooldown. Not focusing on the heroes, always on the units. They're falling. And again, the kiting game. Silence just is hair too late. Warden in trouble. Staffed out as well. Panda carries the TP. A-bomb dead. That's a big kill. Lich in trouble. Always a coil. Two more. But how... Oh my god! We go for the ult! 
We go for the old. There's three feeds about to fall. So are the heroes. So is the Destro. This could be major losses for Happy if Colorful pulls through. Is that the nail in the coffin? 46 minutes. This panda fire damage is insane. 70 damage per hit. Happy unwilling to TP away for some reason. Still wants to go for the trade. Warden is jumping back in too. And that's a nice kill right there. Happy is running out of steam. There's one coil remaining and one coil only. This was 20 food or something. 15 and there's more. He's so hungry. Colorful is not stopping. Panda is back. One breath of fire remaining. The bears killed this expansion as well. And I'm not sure if Happy is mining anymore. He's losing absolutely everything. And the warden still has mana. Is that the last coil? He burned through 610 mana points. This is like nine coils or something. And Colorful still has double income for a bit. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Trying to nuke. But the staff is ready. Must be ready. Also, always dispel on the warden so she can blink. And if the panda reaches here once, it's all a big barbecue. Absurd game. One reveal is double kills. <gasps> Goes to the shop. Gets the dust. Gets the DK level 8. Colorful. You god. Takes it. 47 minutes. 57 seconds. One and three. An unbelievable game. An unbelievable game. Holy moly. Look at this. The entire game Happy was ahead. 9k gold. Including upkeep. Ahead for Happy and he still does it. Sensational. Sensational performance by Colorful. I think... This was the best colorful game that I have ever seen in my life. This was nuts. I have seen colorful getting pummeled playing a warden on Twisted Meadows, especially to the hands of Happy. But not today. He was up for the task. He did it so well. The minute he unlocked Avatar, he wanted to go for the place. But Happy shut him down. And then he found a way. Happy was up bases for so long. Colorful was on one base against three at times. Golden star, platinum star, diamond star all at once. I don't care. And once again, every tournament that doesn't have Twisted Metals in the pool is a fool. Colorful is... was just god-like this game. Absolutely god-like. The usage of Panda Warden was amazing. Never missing a blink. I'm having trouble joining the game. And players get a five minute rest. Yeah, that's deserved. That is absolutely deserved. That is... I'm so happy. Because Colorful was already... Like, he was amazing on game one. He was fantastic on game two. He had one of the worst starts that you can get. On map three. And he still made it close. And then... 
this this Twisted Meadows game. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Unmercy88, thank you for the three month resub, less than three. Ebo Shaker for the 12 month resub, nice game, deserved sub. Lado, 29 month, damn nice game from Colorful. I feel like Colorful could have done even more damage if the panda wasn't trailing behind, but he was there. The nuke always fell to the warden. The panda was there with the staff when he needed him. Mana management was mwah, so good. So good. I'm going to refill my coffee, guys. Be right back. Check out backtowarcraft.com slash support if you like what we do. So real, this performance. Can he do it again? He got a map. We started this cast saying... One by one. One step at a time. Well, we got the one step. We 100% got the one step, now we need a handful more. <sighs> Let's go. Colorful upper left hand side. He got that win that Moon wasn't able to get, that Ted wasn't able to get, that TH wasn't able to get. So it's not another 7 and 0 and I, my god, I'm so happy it's happened. A very different map, of course, a lot smaller, but again, easy to expand. But not really a warden map, everybody. I think we go back to keep a cra to demon craft and there it is. Happy, of course, with the DK. I wonder No, it's cool again, right? No fiends? Yeah, makes sense. I'm exhausted, man. How must the players feel? It's a ghoul build again. I'm not too sure when and why Happy is going for his Ted Fiend build. He did it on Concealed and then never again. Do you guys see a pattern? Like, I see it a lot on Concealed. Oh! Sick block, actually. The Acolyte was trying to lure the Berserker away. So that takes more creep speed, but Colorful blocked it. The Demon arrived and it was the perfect first target. And Happy is expanding. Wisp is here. Demon Hunter didn't decide yet if Immolation or Mana Burn. I guess we burn a lot. Here we go. Onto the Ziggurat. He's holding on to that Wisp for a long time to get into position, but doesn't detonate. Oh no. Little sloppy right there. The coil arrived. Here's level two now. This is Mana Burn going in immediately. The burns continue. It doesn't really matter if he saves the ghouls. This is a lot of time that prevents the ziggurat that keeps happy at 30 for a while. And nighttime falls. Oh my god, Immolation OP. He didn't kill a thing. Maybe a skeleton. Otherwise... All alive!
Kind of creep though, right? Yeah, the Tide Warrior. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> the smallest creep of the camp. Demon Hunter is back though. Should be able to walk this off, as there's no aura. All right, happy build another acolyte, uh, another ziggurat. And Ghoul's almost back to being useful, and he goes through with his expo. Colorful is tacking already. Fifteen years of immolation not being used and now it's OP. Yeah, well, obviously it got bu m heavily buffed. That's like saying in, in the 70s nobody used computers and now everybody does. Like, yeah, they got better. <laughs> and smaller and more, more useful. And that's why everybody's using computers now. Do you do enough damage to prevent this expansion? I don't think so. Hunter's Hole comes up perfectly in time. And a counter expansion. Yeah, why not? And affordable. Exactly, Chad. You get me. Exactly. Ooh, six minutes in, happy is short on gold. A player's forces are under attack. It's an entire attack ahead. Expo for colorful at like. <gasps> oh, it's here. <sighs> if this would be any other undead than happy, I'd say, oh, maybe he doesn't realize it, but happy, of course, scouts it. Is it Garg time again? This worked really well on Echo Isles. But first, Colorful has to weather the storm. Mana is looking okay. Demon Hunter is getting level 3 perfectly, as the panda is here as well. Oh, and he's walking right into immolation. Archers all being caught. Oh, oh. But well, he's getting double burned. Sick though. How few units he's losing against this. Nice movement. No staff, so he doesn't want to get surrounded. Ring of Region also fantastic. It's only one crip. So it's fiends again. Buckle up everybody. This was crazy. Before and maybe it's gonna be crazy again. You want to rotate out of archers anyway. The problem is that the expo is not running. Deny? Nope. And that's level 3. Happy got a lot done here. 900 gold now. Panda needs to creep. Expo needs to root. Creep spot must be cleaned. And we're oh, in this decay. Not sure what this is about. He won't have mana. Is he banking on the fact? He has no coil. He has a coil in 20. He didn't calculate this in his head that he has the mana for the Great Turtle. He 
He's seven short. Don't you tell me. Reveal. Undershoots. Doesn't get it. Colorful with the perfect counterplay. What a madman. That was so important that he hits the scan. Oh, this was huge for the panda. This was gigantic. How did he know that? He was at the shop with the, the DK when he bought the Invis potion. So he checked that, that the Invis potion was gone. And I guess there was only one play. But having the presence of mind by both players that the mana region is enough because when he used the Invis Potion, he was at like 45 or something. This is such high level Warcraft, it's a beauty. Lich out, tier 3 on the way, a little faster for happy, two base, two base established though. DK hurt and low. Lich is well equipped. This is a good spot for Colorful, I think. Oh, he has no lumber. D I did buy a shredder. Okay, all good. I thought for a second he mismanaged his resources, but he did not. Not today. Vamp aura can be crazy if we go into air battles again. Then he doesn't need a dreadlord, really. Panda three. <laughs> Mana stone and Subi mask. It's Christmas today for colorful. Or whatever, whatever equivalent they have. You think Happy is getting jealous of. Oh my god, dude! Big mana potion! I mean, obviously, it's Happy's spot for the consumable. This has to be a big mana potion. This is the perfect inventory, is it not? 500 mana. Double mana region, ring of region on the demon hunter, and a big heal potion against the nuke. Well, mana burn on the that's not perfect, but hey. Shop is set up, ancient is set up. He didn't even commit the potion yet. Not too many burns because he used it on the Yulu, but Orb of Venom is there too. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire. No destroyer up yet if I see this correctly. So the bear lives. Now he can't stab the demon hunter, but he has a potion. So this is all well calculated. Can he save the panda though? It's only a TP potion of healing. Nicely done. Had to use the big mana potion for it, but he might need it. Also, immolation running across. Colorful with the faster reinforcements. How can you keep the panda safe? You need to keep the panda safe. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. He's out of the fight for now. No, the demon gets nuked with the big potion. Can you believe it? Town portal out. Naga level up. Massive mistake. Demon hunter benched and the panda so hurt. You gotta sprint across. After such a perfect game on Twisted Meadows. Colorful with the mistake. But this is not over yet. It's not over yet. The panda might be able to carry his level 4. Just hold on and save the tree. The burns are exquisite and Happy's running out of mana. Lich gets a coil. Another nuke on the bear. Always nukes on the bears. DK is tanking for a while then he retreats. That's it heal. But the panda's about to get a triple kill here. Demon Hunter one minute on the clock. He still has the craziest mana region. Breath in two. Not the kill though. Statues are doing a wonderful job. Here's reveal. Here's the kill. This there's two more. Does he realize this? He doesn't. 
Despite the demon loss, Colorful is still competitive. Thirty seconds on the clock. Double heal scroll. Oh, if he's using the big heal pot, guys. Invul potion for the first time in forever. And now we need repair. We need a lot of repair. Uh oh. Happy can brute force this. Maybe. But no. Turns around. And it's not much that Colorful can work with. Demon Hunter is back. But how. It still needs like 10 seconds to be back in the fight. At least the expo holds. But at what cost? Panda needs to burn. The splits by Happy are getting better. Here is reveal. Here's the burn. And the Demon Hunter is finally back. No staff on him, just the potion. Panda, focus fire! That's what the invul is for. Happy with a huge supply lead. And this time he gets the potion, finally. The supply lead is a little bit misleading because everything is so hurt. Demon Hunter out of the fight. Panda is healthy again. Can he burn this Naga? Oh, I don't think so. He needs a redo. Fast! Oh, no, gets the spell! And the Demon Hunter isn't ready. Sick fight! But it all comes down to the Demon Hunter not drinking. And now it's a 30 supply lead. Expo still standing, but two hero kills and happy to the perfect spot. <laughs> Desperate for experience. How long can you hold? I don't think you can hold this anymore. Oh, he also used the stone. He also used the stone. Feels bad, man. Feels real bad, man. And now the double base income is gone. The wisps can't detonate. One big play with the invis? Not really. Not really. He has an invul potion. It's one demon to rule them all. But it's GG. It's over. And Happy is back at the driving seat. Sick game! Sick defenses by Colorful as well. But then, in a game of Warcraft, if you have the perfect early game, but you forget to click a button once, game is over. And that was pretty much what happened here. <sighs> that means that Happy wins Show Cup 77. He will stay on the throne to fight Fly tomorrow. It's pretty sick. But we have two more. In Show Cup, we always play all the maps and since this is a great um it's a great undead burst night elf so who are we to complain happy takes a little bit of a break while you see sure one of our sponsors tastes great. Replaced my breakfast for over half a year now, I think. Every single morning, wake up, get a shake. And it's amazing. Helps my nutrition, helps me save time. Check out huel.backtowarcraft.com. <sighs> what a series. It's hard to not do mistakes for us happy, the pressure is huge. Yeah, and that's that makes this twisted game even more exciting. And impressive.
And I mean, like, it's not like you're not under pressure as the undead. <laughs> you have to hit the coils, you have to have your spell rotation down. You gotta micro like crazy. No, oh, this is this is not a one way uh, one way street. It's the same argument as a lot of people saying you make one mistake and you're dead. No, you make one mistake more than your opponent does. And if your opponent doesn't do mistakes, then yeah, then it's the one mistake. Same as in football, if you're the goalkeeper and you have the game of your life and you hit, uh, save 30 shots throughout the entire game, but your strikers don't score, and then at the 90 minute mark, you make this one mistake, you still lose. You can't argue like, oh, you make one mistake, you lose the game in football. Same here, make one mistake more than your opponent. Northern Isles is next. Cast is very smart. Thank you. Actually, I'm not. But I'm gaslighting you into thinking that I am. And that's the magic. The problem is you did choose the moment to nuke. Not really. If you burn perfectly, you decide that he's not nuking. Elf has to pay attention 100% of the time. Well, since we're boomers, it's hard to staff all the time correctly. You got an item that saves a unit that costs basically nothing, that has no charges but is permanent, and you complain that you have to click twice to save a 240 gold unit? Maybe not the best argument <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> Away we go, four and one. Happy wins so cup, but colorful is entertaining us big time. So, what do we get this time? DK Demon Hunter. Of course, every map is $200, so... No shenanigans. No cheeses. I'm here to complain and I find a way to do it. <laughs> okay. Fair. And... I think to respect the skill that Colorful is displaying today, you just have to compare it one to one to the Dead Cup final against Moon that Happy played. That was over in, in 40 minutes or so? 45? And we are here for two hours 43. That tells you everything. Ooh. Okay, on Northern Isles, we have Ted Fiends again. So someone smarter than me, why do you play Ted Fiends? Why does Happy play Ted Fiends on Concealed and Northern? And Ghouls on other maps. I mean... Probably about an expansion, but Northern Isles isn't that hard to expand on. Please happy don't play Garks. He did on Echo Isles and it was gorgeous. Six Seal Scrolls. Yep. There you go. I'll be playing Garks tonight on ladder. That's for sure.
You can make a pack, Pato. If you don't play Immolation, I won't play Garks. How about that? I think Immolation should hit Garks. <laughs> Well, it heats up the air, right? So I think Gargoyles fly so high that they are not affected by the burn, but they're just getting warm air around them and they like it. So if you use Immolation close to Garg, they should get a buff. Also, they will probably fly higher, like a balloon. Oh, last hit. Going to Colorful. Item as well. Nicely done. How does the fire only heat <laughs> horizontally? The Garks are flying too high. When you're using a lighter and put your hand 10 centimeters above it, you're not getting burned either. Boom, that's an archer kill. Oh, that might be two. Solid early game for Happy already. Once again, Aura. It's no emulation, by the way. It's burn. Colorful. 900 gold. Damn. Oh, but we find a Naga. And with that, Colorful is denied his own Naga. That's bad. Or can he run circles around him? Probably can. But not the timing he was looking for. Ooh, Whispier, sweet backstab. Are under uh, what? Did he misclick? Very long time without a third hero for Colorful, but he doesn't want to engage into this Naga fight. <laughs> Wisp just <laughs> went for a pint. <laughs> Someone said, by the way. That undead or this matchup is very one-dimensional. I don't think so. Like this matchup is has a lot of variety. We've seen, of course, the Demon Hunter opening, but we've seen Demon Hunter Naga, we've seen Demon Hunter Panda, we've seen Warden, uh, we've seen not today, but in general, you can play Mass Air, you can play Mass Dryads, you can play Dryad Bears, you can play Bears Arches, you can play Dryad Bears, you can play Mountain Giant Talons as Lolai did it. And that's just one side. You could also theoretically play a Keeper Hunt all in. On the Undead side, yes, of course, you start with DK all the time, but that's the case in every matchup. We've seen Naga second, we've seen Lich second, we've seen Dreadlord third, we've seen Gargs. And of course, Fiends Destroyers, which is the norm. But we've also seen A-bombs and sometimes not. Like, tell me a matchup where more unit and hero compositions are usable. Also, we've seen tier 1 expansions. We've seen multiple expansions. We have seen no expansions. We've seen different skill builds as well. In Immolation, Mana Burn, also Mana Burn, Evasion. Like... I could go on and on and on and on! <laughs> yeah, you get lit first sometimes. Come on, guys. 
colorful as a level lead on the DH, but not the important levels yet. And happy in every trade, he's getting a little bit more. Love that early Care Bear leading to a kill. And the Fiend is expensive, very expensive. We still don't have a coil. With that kill, we have it, and he saves that Fiend, isn't he? No, he's not. Happy washed. Dude, Happy lost two fiends in a statue? The hell? That was a sick fight by Colorful. Ho ho holy moly. But now he has to face Coil Nova. But no TP. Damn! But it's one base, one base, so Colorful can't feel too safe yet. Ooh, where's the Naga? Coming in with the Staff now. This one will go to Happy. Obviously, heal wards, very nice. But yeah, firepower of Happy's build has been drastically reduced. <laughs> okay, Happy doesn't value healing while creeping. I mean, he got the statue for it anyway. Sells it and gets a Clopper's 9 for that. Yeah, not having level 3 demon is uh, an issue. That's right, chat. Naga faster level 3 than the demon. How did that happen? There we go. Ooh, sick control by Colorful. When of mana stealing, double mana burn. Love it. So... You burn the opponent hero to get the mana to burn him even more. Doubling down on the burns. He's Mr. Burns, ha! Huh? Could you creep with the explosive barrels? Ha, <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be nice, though. Looks good. Hero levels are getting there. Both stay at 50, both stay on one base. Both kind of get an eye on the rad spots. That's what Happy is getting the town portal back. Colorful trying to steal the lap away to prevent level 3. I don't think that's working. He wants to brawl now, though. Coil Nova will always get the last hit. Should always get the last hit. Yep, and that's level 3. Item goes to Colorful, though. Kinda nice. To steal it away. Two destroyers up. Was Happy ready yet? I'm not too sure. Is Colorful ready? Certainly not. Needs another crazy fight like the last one, but his bears are low. Happy, oh, has to go for the Lich. That was a nice play by Colorful once again to get out of that situation. 10 seconds on Fork Lightning, so that wasn't able, he wasn't able to kill this. But again, a lot of damage done, very little kills. But that was the town portal that Happy just bought. But cool by Colorful to realize that he can get out of that uncomfortable situation by that hero focus. Colorful's mana management and Bear support is ludicrous, by the way. 
always there when he needs it. Good burns too. Got a heal potion. Can stay in this fight. There's a town portal once again. Happy can't really afford to lose that. Because then it's 650 gold in the span of 90 seconds or something. Naga's not using the wind of mana stealing to full degree. Potion, potion. Here we go. Oh, DK is under so much fire. Wants to stay in that fight for a little bit longer. No reju this time, demon. Not getting a sweet connection to that DK. And there's the staff. Bears have to do the damage now. Supply lead is ready, but only for so long. Happy gets the kill. Happy gets level 3. That's the way he gets out. And of course, he gets the perfect double kill on the cost of a fiend, though. And so the dust settles and things are still even. Was that the red spot, though? Demon Hunter is fresh again. Is an invo potion ready? I didn't see the cooldown on the shop. Awesome fights. Like, these fights around the 13-minute mark and beyond. <laughs> so good. Okay, overlay stopped working. One statue on the ground. Lich burned. Oh, invo potion very early on. And the wind of mana stealing is gone. A bomb super annoying. Lots of damage done already. Lightning shield on the A bomb needs to be spelled immediately. Level 4 on the demon hunter. That A bomb is going to fall in a bit. No coil. Uh uh. No chance. And happy. He's got to be careful with that Lich. Has a potion. There's one more coil to use. 10 supply lead. Colorful. He's seriously mastering the Dryad Bear late game Night Elf fights versus Undead. There's very, very few who do it better. Everything is healthy. He's getting more kills on the board. That's a destroyer dead. Wonderfully done. That's a huge lead now. Colorful, this is your game. There's barely anything left for Happy to be working with. Disease Cloud is, of course, working over time. Wow, and the damage once the fiend is a tiny bit too close to the bears. Just melting. Very good retreats. Is supply block now colorful? And I don't think he has more redo. Gotta be careful with that DH. But everything seems calculatable. Staff is ready as well. And somehow, Colorful is always able to have a decent amount of Dryads up. This of course also the nerfed version of Disease Cloud, so it's not like the Dryads are at one-third HP anymore. That helps a ton in these late game situations. Riju is running, Invo Potion popped. And now Colorful feels brave enough to fight into an undead phase and you know what we say, never do that. It's... Oh, nice kill. Almost feels like it's a good time for an expansion, but also you don't want to give Happy too much time. If you invest into that expansion, you're not replenishing these units, and mana is already kind of low on the bears. <laughs> the second a unit moves a little too close, Colorful is shifting the focus. Happy can afford another mana potion. I wonder if they're available or not. Another 18 minute game. Oh, of course. Oh, only Dryads on a silver plat. Oh, oh. D 
Did he pull them back? Oh, I was about to say perfectly before the fiend shot arrives. No. Undead bases should be nuked, the only race that's practically unkillable in their base without a ridiculous advantage. You say that in Undead vs. Night Elf, where the opposing race has free healing, free mana regen, and the production buildings can fight with you? And your workers can explode to get rid of the enemy's mana? For real? Happy good mana management again for the time being. But that was only the potion. Now he's empty again. Colorful wants this lich so bad. But he can't get it. Naga maybe. Yes. And maybe this is where things spiral out of control. Now he can't control the demon hunter anymore. DK also dead. And the DH safe with the staff this time. This was two hero kills in quick succession. And Colorful takes map number six. Making this a four and two. This is the one of the best series that I've seen Colorful in, in a long time. Very, just very solid. There was no super flashy play that pulled him ahead. It was the fight in the north that was just outstanding. Where he killed two fiends and a statue. That was really freaking nice. And then he never let Happy back into the game. Once again, I'm not the craziest fan of Happy's early harass. It feels like he's not stopping the Demon Hunter enough and he falls behind in levels as well. Because maybe it's just Colorful being ridiculously good, but he finds his level three. Last map, everybody. We're back later tonight in four and a half hours with ESL Meisterschaft. But for now, it's the last ride in a great series. Like, you can balance wine all you want. I'm just here and enjoying the art of Warcraft. Because this was a every single map was really good. And our last map is Last Refuge. Who's the sponsor? Uh, a Chinese called Yudi Fan. And that guy is supporting competitive Warcraft, uh, yeah, like crazy. He also donated to World 3 Champions Finals, TP League. He's a, I'm kind of sure he also supports World 3 Champions with the servers, but I'm not 100% on that. Yeah, UD fan, if you see any tournaments in China, you can be 99% sure that UD fans is behind that. I want a UD fans as well. But first, we finish the best of seven series. Not a best of seven, a full out seven.
So happy upper right hand side, colorful bottom left hand side. He can be very pleased with his performance here today, no matter the outcome, if it's a five and two or a four and three. Probably gonna be Demon again, huh? Everything else would be a great surprise. One Keeper, maybe? Nope. And Happy again with a Ted Feet build. A player's force Is that really the way, guys? What's your opinion on the Ted Feet build over the Ghoul build? I'm not sold. It did look kinda good versus Moon. Colorful sees this, and then he's just not going immolation, but rather mana burn. So, that's the counter then. In a, I mean, maybe happy things that, okay, with my DK right clicks, I uh, steal three creeps and then my early is good, but today that never happened. It's a classic way. Not really versus Night Elf. We've been playing ghouls forever. Okay, so... Colorful has burn already. Oh, Happy can't even get the skeletons, huh? And now he sees the burn and goes for aura immediately. That's the same situation as we had on uh, Northern Isles. And there, Colorful just did it really well. Weird creep mechanics here, of course. Everybody knows. Good save. Oh, I thought for a second he's walking into that camp. It's not advisable. Yeah, so... I don't know. You take away immolation from the Demon Hunter, but... Thing is, Mana Burn is also really freaking good. There's just no reason to go Fiends early if you're a good player. I think it's rather... Not going ghouls and not donating ghouls away because you go Fiends anyway in this matchup mid to late game. Because you need it against Dryads. Or need them against Dryads. Ooh, wow! Happy buys a Shadow Priest and gets nuked immediately. I mean, it takes the Shadow Priest away from Colorful, but... Yeah. Yeah, but I agree that the ghoul builds still look better for now. So, Happy accomplished officially nothing. Colorful feels so brave that he starts the mercenary camp when Happy is still around. Usually you get punished for that ultra hard, but there's nothing to punish him with. No coil. No nothing. Might need a repair soon here. As there's so much attention on this DK. Okay, and we let go. <laughs> Needs a bit of healing. <laughs> Tier 2 around the corner. Hunter's Hall looks fine. Happy again with the faster Naga as he always has the fast attack. And we will not allow this golem to go down. Uh-uh. Dude, that High Priest is out of mana. It's pretty sick. And here comes the Counter Naga, and I feel like there's no TP. Uh, okay. What's gonna die? Good thing for Happy is he has the boots, and Colorful doesn't. So not resulting in any kills. This is buying a lot of time. 
but Happy has still legit zero XP. With heroes like this, I'm not too sure how long it can keep up the pressure. That's the Merc Camp. <laughs> Weird. Weird dance in the early game. Happy's still adamant that he wants to get this golem. Apfelzin Baum, thank you for the sub! Much love, much appreciated, much needed for this channel. Go happy, he says. Well, he's going home, if that's what you mean. Rune braces would be insane. Kelthalas also amazing. Pretty much the same build as we've seen before on Northern Isles. Happy, crazy underleveled. And again, we're going archers, dryads, into bears. No reason for Colorful to change anything after everything that happened here today. And yeah, look at this XP. Happy has to go for a greedy camp to catch up, but this will take a while. And co Colorful is gambling for the rune braces, isn't he? Okay, yeah, why not? The first fight for the mercenary camp was super duper hard. Oh my god. Oh my god. Double boots of Keltalas. That is insane. Okay, level three as well. Great. And red spot time. Give me more agility. Give me, give me, give me. We arrived on tier three. Lich is out with orb, so that's easy to creep. But destroyers are still missing. This is, of course, not the dangerous ghoul push. Battle drums. It's only seven percent these days. It's not really that much. Claws plus twelve. Ah, <laughs> oh! sick. That's so sick. Colorful is in a wonderful position again. No exp or anything, but he didn't need that on Northern Isles either. Yeah, where's my rock golem? Where's my ogre magi? Where's my items? I want to pimp my heroes. Not happening here. Colorful takes Happy's toys away. And the Emperor doesn't like that. Big invul, small invul. This... Okay, maybe I'm jinxing it. But this inventory is once again so wonderful. If he's dying with a health stone now, it's not my fault. Thank you, Carrion, for the five-month resub. Keep up the great work. Keep up the sub, mate. Thank you very much. Wow. He stole one, two, three, four. Four items, I guess. Oh, three, I guess. It's pretty sick. Even a ring for a Naga isn't bad.
Yeah, I feel like two and a half years after the ring buff, people finally appreciate it. That's a good thing. Whoa. Claws plus not. Ay, ay, ay. That lich is also not to be underestimated, guys. Where do you put your items now if you're colorful? Another ring. This is 13 armor. No expansion, just more army. 1-0 upgrade against 2-0. 2-1 about to be finished. Demon Hunter didn't burn in a long time. So there's Coil. There's Nova. It's all calculated apparently as the staff is ready. Invo Potion. Okay, he wants to burn away. He has a lot of mana to be working with. Great control as well. And that Invo Potion lasts a long time, especially with the Riju underneath. It's a smart burn again on the Naga instead of the DK. That's curious. But we're even fighting through that needle hole. Health stone used this time. But what he didn't get is reveal. Oh, Naga! Dead. God damn. Colorful is just smashing these fights every single freaking time. There was a town portal, a hero, like six supply on top. Demon Hunter a little out of position, but so is the Destroyer. Number one down, fork lightning rattling through. It feels like Happy has no solution to this late game army anymore. Not to this Demon Hunter Naga play. Yeah, he's getting burned once again. And What is this? Invo Potion, yeah, it's crazy. The utility that Colorful had in this game is amazing. Run for the potion, run for the potion, it's available. Colorful wipes them off the map. These Tet Fiends openings, guys, I told you. Oh, there's dust. Oh, that's a triple kill. That's one, that's two, and we turn around, and we make it three. Ay, 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 level five. A little bit of lack of bears, colorful floating resources, but he doesn't want to go into upkeep again. What's up his army? Where is it? God damn! Demon Hunter level five, just wonderful. It's total annihilation. Jesus Christ! Did Happy had a one arm challenge this game or what was that? Colorful absolute dominance. And this is the second time within a week that I see Happy getting pretty much slaughtered in this matchup. He still wins! And guys, can you imagine what happens if he's pressing that heal potion button on Tight Hunters? But colorful man, he's giving everyone hope. Happy is mortal in this matchup. Lawlight showed it. And now colorful showed it. I feel if colorful wins the first map, or one of the first two maps, he has a great shot of turning it all around. And winning this. Holy. This was a fan phenomenal performance by colorful. And as I said, I'm not the biggest colorful fan, but you gotta respect what he did here today. Three hours, 20 minutes. An amazing series. He could have won the other, yeah, he could have won the other maps. 100%. Maybe not AZ, he was far behind. But with Lola, it's crazy. Uh, talent build and Colorful's almost flawless execution 
Happy is a little bit in, in trouble in this matchup. Thank you, Genesis, for the 16 month resub. Much love, you guys. Yeah. Well done. That was part one of Tuesday, February 21. We'll be back with Meisterschaft in four hours and 10 minutes. I'll be casting with Van. Our matches today are pretty damn good, I gotta say. We got a human mirror of Leon versus Changer. We got Kevin versus Table Jack. Both uh, won their opening match with 2-0. and And we got Todd versus 84. Todd versus Undead. You better tune in. Thanks to the mods who helped a lot. Alone in Heaven, his first day today. Harry, Stars and Stripes all around. Uh, great additions to the mod team recently. I hope you notice it. Uh, and yeah, we'll be back later. But before we go, there's a tweet by Insub that we can react to. Because Insub does a little interview series, I'm not sure if you're aware, uh, where he sends little questions to Warcraft personalities. And this time... Oh, thank you, NJW Boom, for the three-month resub. Great stream and tournament. Thank you. Uh, this time, it's Carson. So, this handsome fella... No, not, not where the mouse is. This handsome fella... Answered a couple of questions. Mine is there, of course, too. So, favorite food, steak. Favorite drink, gin. With tonic, I assume. Favorite color, blue. Da ba dee da ba da. Little emo boy. Favorite all time moment in Walker as a fan, Cruncher winning the regional finals. <laughs> yeah, the eternal, everlasting DreamHack regional champion. Favorite own achievement, DreamHack Sweden. Yeah, Carson crushed it at DreamHack Sweden. Favorite Warcraft unit, the Shaman. Favorite sport to watch, MMA. Carson doesn't strike me as a person who watches MMA, really. But what would I expect? Well, he's Canadian, so certainly hockey. But Carson kind of strikes me as a curling guy. Pally Rifle's favorite strategy to play. That's that's the strategy I hate to play the most against. Favorite athlete, Pete Weber. I don't know who that is. Favorite movie and TV show with Clue and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That's a 90s man. 100% 90s man. Favorite song, Be My Baby by the Ronettes. I don't know that. LCD sound system, freaking amazing. Favorite place to travel to is Disneyland. It's so magical, isn't it? Favorite video game besides Walker of CSGO. Yeah, it's... Uh, I'm not sure if he means to watch or to play. I guess both. Great game. Favorite animal is the pig. I'm pretty sure he answered that already. And he says it's because uh, I can make bacon out of it or something. Fool me once, shame on you. You fool me, you can't get fooled again. <laughs> yeah, that is a great quote. Fantastic. Yeah, this is a great series by Insub. You can find all of that at, at GG Insuperable. Uh, there is a lot more. So now I gotta look up who's Peter Weber. Oh, it's that bowling dude. Okay, I never watched bowling. That sounds lame as fuck. Who doesn't like hearing they look like a guy who likes curling? <laughs> 
All right, guys. Uh, as I said, we'll be back at 7.15 p.m. I had a blast today. I had a not too much sleep. I'm still like moving this week, so everything is super stressful. Uh, but you and Happy and Colorful, you made it really fun. So I appreciate that. I don't take for granted that we're able to do what we do. Uh, if you want to support us on our journey to... Whoops. Um, to bring you the best competitive Warcraft in the world and also fund these cups that we're doing every Wednesday and every Friday. Check out backtowarcraft.com slash support. Check out our Patreon. Give us a Twitch sub. If you have Amazon Prime, you get one sub for free per month if you give it to us. We're very, very happy about that. You can also do the same with the YouTube membership. Uh, that you can do here with a Twitch a sub. If you're watching only on YouTube, consider that, or maybe a super thanks. Of course, we also have one-time donation and crypto donations and a merch store, and we are powered by Holy and Huel and Opera GX, so thank you for the support. Check it out. For Holy, if you need energy or iced tea. For Huel, if you need uh, nutrition and some supplements and easy meals and great shakes and Oprah GX is the gaming browser for you that saves RAM and uh, uh, gives you better performance also has Twitch and Discord and all that stuff integrated go check it out and when you click and download via this link supports back to Warcraft all right everybody have a good afternoon see you later with Van and Meisterschaft in German peace <laughs>